All right, so our soul winning tip for today is uh, to pray for boldness. Now, I know, Jay, you, you haven't gone out soul winning very much at all, but um, it takes a lot of boldness, first of all, just to even show up and, and to go out and, and, you know, learn how to give the gospel and to go out for the first time. Um, we were talking a little bit after church. Um, I'm not the most outgoing person in the world. I've kind of changed a lot over the years. And a lot of that's due to going out and knocking on doors and going and soul winning and approaching people that you normally wouldn't approach because you know it's extremely important. And I mean, that's the whole reason why we, why we do this. There's a, a lost world out there and lots of souls that are headed for hell. And if we don't do anything about it, then nothing's gonna happen. So it's, it's, it, the responsibility has been given to us. You know, Jesus Christ has commissioned us to go out and to be ambassadors for him, to give the gospel to every creature and to preach the gospel. Now, we're answering that call. We want to be effective. And in order to do so, we need to have boldness. The Bible says that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So we ought not to be afraid. And I understand what it's like because I was afraid when I first started going out soul winning. I didn't, it was very foreign to me. I didn't like going out and knocking on a stranger's door. It was intimidating. It was something that, that is not, it's totally against my nature to go and do that. So what helps a lot is prayer, for one. First of all, just praying, praying for boldness. And everybody should be praying for boldness, whether it's your first time going out or whether you've been going out for a very long time. We see the Apostle Paul in his epistles is, is continually praying for boldness. You know, pray for me in my bonds. Pray for me that a door of utterance, you know, that, that he could basically have opportunities to preach the gospel and that he is bold with his speech. Because the enemy is going to be attacking. Devil's going to be get, trying to get you to, if he notices that you're going to start going soul winning, he's going to do whatever he can to get you to stop. And oftentimes what that'll be is a, uh, oftentimes that's going to come as, as him maybe bringing somebody, can you answer that for me please? Bring someone to, to scare you or to intimidate you, maybe whether it be at a door or whatever, because he's going to want you to stop. He's not going to want you to continue to go to, to go out and knock on a door. He's going to try to get you afraid and just to sit back and say, oh man, I'm never going to do that again because there was some bad experience. Now, boldness is important, again, because you don't need to be intimidated that way. And it's something you're going to gain, you'll probably gain a lot more confidence with experience. So stick with it. Keep praying for the boldness. And also, you know, people will come at you at the door sometimes, and I, and I, and I deal with this all the time because people will ask me all the time, do you knock on a door that says no soliciting? And I say, absolutely. First of all, we're not selling anything. We're trying to, to, to get them saved. We're trying to explain that there's a free gift from God. Now, those people that have the no soliciting signs, if you were to show up at their house and just say, Hey, I've got a million dollars for you. You know, all you got to do is just just believe that I have it for you, and I'll give it to you. Would any of those people get upset if you showed up to their door and and, and, and offered that to them? No way, not a chance. Well, what we have is better than a million dollars, and we're not selling anything, anyways. We're just explaining, hey, this is a free gift, and. I've gotten many people saved that have the no soliciting signs. A lot of times people just leave them up on their doors. You know, they were just left over, they moved in, they're renting or whatever, and they just don't bother to take the sign down, they forget it's there. It's not a big deal. But every once in a while you get that person that'll just have to remind you, say, didn't you see the sign? And again, without the boldness, you know, people are just going to, you know, try to get you to be discouraged and, and question what you're doing and get you to not want to knock on those doors anymore. But we ought to have the boldness. And when you go out you know, the, with the boldness, you're going to have the power of God. Okay. So we want to make sure that, that you do have that. Get some experience. Just go out and do it. And, and pray for boldness. And just try to just keep going out. If, if things happen, it's like, so what? If someone yells at you at the door, or if someone says something that, that you don't like, no big deal. Just brush it off, go to the next door, and um, you'll, you'll learn after time. Some people takes a little bit short, some people takes a little bit longer. 
the, the nervousness, the uneasiness of approaching and going to the door, knocking on the door will, will fade. It'll go away. I don't think it ever not necessarily goes away 100% completely all the time, which is all the more reason why we need to continue to just, just pray for boldness and um, keep reading the Bible, get filled with the Spirit. You know, again, God's not given us the spirit, the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and sound mind. So if you continue to... Um, just walk in the Spirit, read the Bible, and, and live righteously, then you ought to be gaining more boldness just, just from the fact that you're you're walking with God. So that's it for today. We're going to go ahead and get out. This is our... Um